All right, welcome back to another lesson, everybody. And today I'm going to teach you how to play one of the most classic grooves of all time. So this groove was made famous really by Ice Cube in a song called It Was a Good Day. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. It's really some classic hip hop right there. And as we know, a lot of hip hop was sampled from funk, soul, and R&B. So the groove originates from a song by the Isley Brothers, which was originally recorded in 1977 on a double platinum album called Go For Your Guns. I love this groove because the tempo is perfect, the sound is great, you can just hear the tape machine turning. I love the sound of 1970s drums. Almost all of the major studio records were recorded to tape and it just sounds so warm and crispy. It's a sound that was just native to that time. If you're into drums or if you're into recording or sounds at all, it's just really something to appreciate. Ice Cube's entire career is based on this riff, and so there you go. We wouldn't know about Ice Cube if it weren't for the Isley Brothers and if it weren't for this amazing drum part. So let's break it down. It's actually not that hard to play. It just has a great feel, and it has a unique quality to it because on the third beat, the bass drum is played on its own, which just doesn't happen that often in most popular music. Almost all the time, the bass drum is played simultaneously with a cymbal. And on beat three in this groove, it's just the bass drum by itself, and it's surrounded by those 16th note hi-hats. The easiest way to play it is to count it first. I have a saying that goes, if you can say it, you can play it. And for this groove, it's definitely true. The way to count this groove is one and two and a three E and four and a one and two and a three E and four and. The trick is seeing it as a two bar phrase and just making sure that your turnarounds to get back to the one, you keep them straight. So I will play through each section of the groove separately and then we'll put it together and you'll have it. The trademark signature of this beat are those 16th note hi-hats that surround that naked bass drum on beat three. So let's zoom in on that part. So really, it just starts out as an eighth note groove, which is really simple. So we're gonna play the bass drum on one, hi-hats on eighth notes, and we're gonna play the backbeat on two, so that just sounds like this. So that's how it starts, and then we enter those syncopated hi-hats. You could play this with one hand, but it might be more comfortable playing it with two hands, so it's up to you. I like to play it with the two hands, it's just kind of cooler. So the whole phrase is and a three E and four. So if you're used to playing the hi-hats or a cymbal with the bass drum, this might be a little bit weird at first because we're playing the bass drum by itself, but that's what makes this beat so cool. So it's... So if we just loop that section, it sounds like this. So the key to playing this is to not be in a rush and to make sure that those 16th notes are even. So we don't want to be rushing any of them, they need to be even, even though we're playing it on separate hands. Now you can play it with one hand, that would sound like this. And so when you play that way, when each stroke that you play is unique and it is not played with another instrument on the drums, we call that linear drumming. Um, so that's a really 
cool way to approach the kit as well to get some new ideas going and to break out of old patterns. We already counted through to the syncopated part, so it's one and two and a three E and four and a one and two and a three E and four and. Okay, so that would be the two bar phrase. To end the first phrase, we need to play three sixteenth notes in a row. So that's gonna sound like this. So we would count that and a one. One more time and I'll count through it slowly. So this time, we are playing the hi-hat with the bass drum on the one. So that's really the only tricky thing about this beat. On the one, we are playing the hi-hat and the bass drum at the same time. On the three, we are playing the bass drum by itself. So that is the first measure, or the first four beats. The second four beats is exactly the same, except for the last eighth note. And for that, we are going to play an open hi-hat on the and of four. So the second measure sounds like this. To complete it, we need to play the one and the bass drum at the same time again. So if I play through the one, it'll sound like this. Okay, so that's the second bar. So let's try to play them together and just loop them. So there's bar one and bar two, and we'll just loop them over and over, because technically that is the groove. So there you have it. I hope you like this lesson. And if you like this type of content and you want to learn some more cool grooves on the drums, hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos coming your way. Mm -hmm.